Callisto was a beautiful princess, daughter of Lycaon, the king of Arcadia. Her beauty delighted men and gods alike. Therefore, she became the mistress of Zeus, the Olympian lord. From this union, the boy Arcus was born, enraging the goddess Hera, Zeus's wife, who once again felt humiliated by the birth of another bastard son. But poor Callisto couldn't escape the goddess's wrath. Hera cursed Callisto. Hair appeared on the young princess's soft skin. Her delicate hands turned into paws with sharp claws. The princess tried to scream for help, but out of her mouth came only a frightened howl. Callisto had been transformed into a great bear. The bear was chased away by the citizens of her city, who feared the beast, and so she was forced to roam the forest. The bear turned to the sky and cried out for Zeus to restore her original form. But Zeus did not want to upset his wife and did nothing for Callisto. The bear wandered to the edge of the forest, near the town where she used to live. Hidden, she watched her friends and relatives, who went on with their lives. Despite her fear of being sniffed out by the hounds, she would venture out to see her son Arcus grow up. The little one believed that one day he would see his mother again. Time passed. One day, as the great bear wandered through the forest, she came across a hunter. He was her beloved son, whom she had not seen for years. The emotional mother forgot that she was a bear. She stood and tried to hug her son. He, thinking the bear was about to attack him, threw his spear at the animal. But Zeus would not allow such a tragedy to occur and intervened. The god turned mother and child into constellations. The mother's constellation became known as Ursa Major and the son's constellation as Ursa Minor. But the goddess Hera was furious to see her rival and her bastard son honored in the sky. So she convinced the deities of the seas, Poseidon, Oceanus, and Thetis, not to give shelter to the constellations of Callisto and her son. Thus, the constellations of Ursa Major and Ursa Minor cross the skies throughout the night without ever hiding in the sea waters. But this punishment did not dampen Callisto's happiness, who was once again together with her son.